morning. <clears throat> it's been an all-nighter walking up uh, whew, a few thousand feet. Um, yeah, 3,000 feet plus now. And uh, I'm just starting out basically uh, doing the last hoof up the last section here. So I'm at, uh, what am I at? 12,200 feet roughly. And then we're going to go up steep up these cliffs here and then level off into this journey on the summer solstice. By the way, happy summer solstice to you. <laughs> and uh, on the summer solstice of 2020. And uh, just a year ago, I came up here with my son. We didn't get exactly this far, but <laughs> since then I've been training to do this. And I'm going to climb to the summit or hike to the summit. I'll be there in two or three hours. So that's exciting. And setting my prayers up, you know, for peace on this planet, man. Enough of this stupid, dark, goddamn chaos driven bullshit. And uh, so this is what I want to come up and ask that we have all of these beings come on and assist us right now and just quicken we can just like everything set up you know we can just quicken the whole process here and turn it around for everybody <sighs> how's that give me a like <sighs> I'm a little tired I mean this is actually yeah give me a like but I was saying I'm a little tired I've been up since Five o'clock a day ago, so 26 hours. And um, on the way up here, let me show you the trail here. On the way up here, I did find some places like this to just lie down and sleep until I got too cold, and then gear up again, and then pack another section until I got too tired and found somewhere else under some rocks or in a sandy part and uh, it worked out good it was nice to be out in the buffeting winds and uh, under the Milky Way and uh, it was a new moon so there was no well new moon until just at dawn but the new moon, so there was no moonlight. And actually it was a tiny bit hazy, so... Uh, but a real challenge staying on the trail and... and uh, not falling asleep, basically. You know? Um, it was ch chilly, nippy, but not as cold as I thought it was going to be. So I left one layer in the car. I left my down park parker in the car. And for this I've got uh, one, two, three, four layers on today. And I wish I had actually brought in, um, I should have brought another layer. And yeah, so. This is going to get real steep and real difficult to talk at the same time. <laughs> so I'm just going to focus on the climb here and focus back in on the prayer. I just wanted to share this with you and what a beautiful day this is. And there's Mauna Loa over there. <sighs> That's down towards Puna. Beautiful syndicate on there. And of course, these are all Ice Age. What? Ice Age? Yeah, glaciers were here. And what's more? Catch this. I must have passed them in the dark last night. But there are quarries where they mined these very, very hard type of... kind of looks like this. Um, very hard type of rock that they made into tools and implements. Guess when? Thousands of years ago? Well, guess when? Stone Age. Go figure. 
and they were shipped all over Indonesia. Hmm. Funny, I'd never heard that story before. I started hiking up here. Amazing things you find out. Hey, peace on earth, man. Whatever that means to you, for me, it means do no harm. It's my litmus. And it's simple. Pretty straightforward. You know when you're doing harm, or you know when somebody's doing harm to you, so... Let's get this love one another and all this love power brother stuff and just do no harm and of course the love will be there but bottom line top line every which way every thought the litmus am i doing the right thing now this is the right path for me right now do no harm yeah, probably is relative to going up that one. Really dangerous. That stuff isn't stuck on there at all. It's all loose. So I stick on the path and do no harm. Yeah. I hadn't realized until recently how important that do no harm uh, philosophy, concept, way of being, core value, right? I hadn't realized how oops, powerful that had become in my world, in my, over the years. And uh, the reason I say, is, say this is because I've been instrumental, I've been the inventor of sound environments, sacred geometry of sound environments. This is where it gets tough. Whew. And, uh, and also done a lot with electrical medicines and refine them and have documented, meticulously documented all of the case histories. <sighs> Both in the sound healing work for about 10 years and then later in the um, electrical medicines for another 10 12 years forever changing perspectives this is <laughs> mana law but uh, but that's basically my core value you know my reason for doing what I'm doing today is because I feel the only way to get this done right away this is the perfect, perfect time to do it is call in the beyond uh, ascended masters the beyond uh, astral and beyond all of those realms that have locked in this zone this planet. Yeah, we we're right on that tetrahedral meridian. And I'm asking from the core of the volcano into the core of the earth, right out into the sun solstice that we had this morning, which, which we caught a glimpse of, and connect the sun again to the core and remove all the non-native EMFs but first let's free humanity let's awaken those people who know what to do right now this is the time to move this is what I'm asking assistance from the other realms to dedicate that assistance to those beings that can make this happen right now, right quickly. So be it.
I will not let this be the barrier to the success. We will leave the past behind us here. And as I ascend this cliff, we will open up into the new. Hey, that's enough for right now. I'm gonna focus on this. <laughs> hey, thanks for watching. Bam.